where did grits come from? Let's find out. Okay. Sally Weisenberger. Last time you were here, you made the perfect, perfect mixtures for biscuits. Three, was it three? Three ingredients? ingredient biscuits. You can't yep. mess them up. You can't mess them up. Being that this is an educational show. Yes. We're all about education. Yes. Okay, do that's like, good. Do I like education? You do. <laughs> you look very witty. Let's talk about what is grits? What's it actually made from? Grits are made from corn. They're ground corn. So whole, basically whole it corn. goes through that process of, of a particular size grind right. and that's what you come up with. So. It is. We're going we're gonna to just make some basic grits tonight mm -hmm. with water. You can make them with milk. You can make it with half water and half milk. And you can use the basic recipe for shrimp and grits or a bowl of grits for breakfast or whenever you want to eat some grits. All right, let's get basic. Let's go okay. with basic, basic grits. grits. Uh, today we're just going to make the grits using water. So to the pan, we're going to add four cups of water. So I'm going to add the last cup because we've already put three cups of water in there. We're going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt uh, and salt to taste. You don't even have to add salt if you don't want to. Oh, you got to have some salt. We're going to add half a teaspoon of salt. And then we're going to bring that water to a bowl. And when the water boils, we're going to pour in the grits and stir and uh, Turn the heat down, simmer for about 20 minutes. For about 20 minutes, mm -hmm. then that's it. That's it, then we're done. Let's check the grits and see if they're, mm -hmm. oh they are. All right, now you can tell the difference in the consistency. Let me show you the camera. The, oh, now yeah. they've thickened up. So you've got a softer texture than you would in a, in a casserole. But these are ready to eat. And you can so, do so many things with that. You can. You know what, we think about our cornbread and, and it's one of the easiest things in the world you can make, and it it's is. an easy side. It is. But I'm a cast iron guy. You see me cooking on all the time. You told me you're going to make some kind of. Uh, we are. We're going to make cornbread in a cast iron skillet. So. I'm all about that. Just like all my right. grandma. All right. I'll set this aside. Okay. Now I want to ask you something. All right. I see this all the time. Bolted. Okay. What bolted. Does bolted, mean? bolted. It's. It means sifted. Bolted means that this has been sifted. So like the, it's, if you get unbolted, that's kind of more old fashioned, coarse grain. Little coarse grain mm -hmm. like, it's gotcha. like having whole wheat flour. So a bolt you is like a, a cloth grain. that it's that it's sifted, sifted through. through. So so we're going to be using uh, bolted in this our, bolted our cornbread white. tonight. Yes, and we're we're going to use a um, self rising cornmeal mix that has a little bit of flour and already has leavening in it, so we don't have to add that. Once again, non GMO corn. Non GMO From corn. From Kentucky. This is so, I, and I follow the recipe on the bag. So it's very you know this cornbread muffins or sticks, and I just pour it in there. And now, do you heat this up in the oven ahead I do. of time? I do. I heat that in the oven, and I add about two tablespoons of oil. Gotcha. So we'll go ahead and measure it. We have to have some oil so it doesn't stick. Right. But we don't need it to be swimming in it. So I have found that about two tablespoons is um, about the right amount. About what you need. Right. So you put that in a hot oven for how long? Put that in a hot oven for uh, five minutes to maybe five to seven minutes so that that gets really hot. And then while that's heating up, we're going to go ahead and mix up our cornbread batter. One and three-fourths cups of this cornmeal mix. So we're going to add a, a cup and a half of buttermilk. Doesn't that just add the, the richness? And it the does, thick, and the I think it, the, the texture is better. For so, the hush puppies, too? Yes, mm. they really are. <laughs> buttermilk definitely in hush puppies. Oh, yeah. So a cup and a half of buttermilk and one egg, and we're going to whisk this together. And since we're using the self-rising mix, we don't have to add any of the leavening. Wonderful. Yeah, so we whisk this together. That's it, and we're going to cook in a five, preheated 500 degree oven, which is really hot. 500 degrees. But it works. How long? 15 minutes. Really? And it cooks fast. Well, I like the sound of that. I like, yeah. I like things that are, when, you're, so, when you're hungry, you're hungry, you want to eat. That's right. So you don't have to wait 30 minutes for cornbread. You can have it 15 minutes. I had no idea. So anyway, here we go. So we're going to add to the hot skillet. Here, a little bit of sizzle there. Here, a little sizzle. And it sort of climbs up the side. and. And then into and the oven this goes. The oven. Pop this in the oven for 15 what, minutes. You grab that and I'll pop this oven. All right. <laughs> okay, so we're going to just sit it right back there. You know what? I, th I think most people would think that 500 degrees, you'd think about black burn. cornbread. Right. 
15 it, minutes. It, and it, do, it doesn't. It's a little, so, you, you know, watch your oven. Mm -hmm. All right, so now you're gonna take this, I remember the rack from last time. Right, so we're, we, we let it sit for a little while, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna hope that it comes out, and if it doesn't, you know, just slide a little knife under there and give it a little Pulse extra it, push. Push it out. Right, so we're gonna hope that it comes out. Sometimes I'll put the rack up like this and flip. Oh yes, it came out. Well. There we go. Just so, like that. There we have a big skillet cornbread. And it didn't burn. Let me tell you it what, I thank it. you so much for coming out tonight. Thank you. We love our Kentucky stuff. And thank you. Non -GMO. We're happy to be on your show. Thank you so much. Thank you. At Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen, we love to cook on the original Salt Rocks grilling plate. Perfect for your use on your grill, in your oven, on your cooktop, or at a campfire. Using Salt Rocks grilling plates makes an ordinary meal extraordinary. You cannot get it wrong. For exceptional tasting meats, vegetables, fruits, sweets, and more, start cooking with the original Salt Rocks grilling plate now. Order online at www.saltrocks.com or visit timfarmerscountrykitchen.com and visit our store. Standing up on a roof and talking to a camera is kind of extreme. Just like tartar, extreme challenges. You got a back brace on, you've got, you've got a neck brace, you've got a helmet. We just want to see how it hold up to the real extreme challenge. Oh, here we go. Woo! We're just testing the product so it really does live up to durable, dependable, and tough. We are taking American-made products to the next level. We are Tartar Farm and Ranger.